Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at the charming, elegant, wonderful little Goto Telepack. This is from the late 1960s, 1968, 69, something like that. And it's a 60 millimeter F15 standard Acromat. Uh, it's a school telescope. Now, school telescopes, in the case of uh, the Japanese school telescopes, were more or less sponsored by the state uh, and designed to be distributed to schools and used in the schools for that reason. Well, Goto kind of had an exclusive on that. This telescope is one of those, and it's got some <laughs> really interesting features uh, that tell you <laughs> about that. <laughs> for example, this thing is riveted. They're <laughs> they're not, not these are not screws here. Those are rivets to keep the kids from getting in there with their little screwdrivers and taking the thing apart. Uh, which also unfortunately keeps, you know, a qualified uh, service person <laughs> away from it as well. So uh, the owner of this scope is Don Chatfield. And Don was kind enough to loan this to me for this video. Thank you very much, Don. Don actually was able to open this up and get the and get the uh, objective out for cleaning because it had some uh, mold spots on it. Uh, phenomenal story, superhuman story, if you ask me. This scope has a, has a friction clamp back here. This is really, really very similar to the Goto ST6. If you haven't seen my video on that, you may want to check that out. Except this one is made of much heavier material. This is uh, all either steel or aluminum. I believe this is steel here. That's cast aluminum. That's probably cast aluminum. I'm not sure, but it's much heavier duty, and it's uh, well. If the ST6 had cast aluminum, it was not very heavy duty cast aluminum. This is heavy duty stuff. This is a really substantial piece of uh, equipment here. Uh, now, so that goes on there, there's a clamp, and you can adjust back and forth. So you can balance it, and you can turn it this way and that way. Good, fine. When you get it to a place that you like, you have slow motion azimuth. And the same kind of thing applies here for altitude. So you can just push it around. Put it where you want to. It's got a spring-loaded slow motion here for... And notice this thing. These things are... They don't impact on that spring. That's a spring housing in there. They don't impact on that straight on. See this thing here? It's coming in at an angle, which is fine because it's just pushing on a piston that's compressing against a finger. How's that for cool? Pretty clever. They did that to keep your fingers from interfering with the tube here so that you can actually operate the scope. It's the same kind of design down here. Same kind of thing. Notice the funny angle. Very cool. Another Goto innovation. Goto was always innovating in all sorts of ways. This is good, high quality material here. This is a metal. Pretty sure that's a metal tube, not plastic. Anyway, it's all metal components here. Now, one of the most interesting things about this scope is the way it all packs together. Look what the delivery service left today. Let's open this baby up. It's from Goto Kogaku. Look at these old fashioned, you don't see that anymore, these old string attachments like that. What is inside here? Look at this. Inside here we have, check that out. There's a telescope that's protected between the legs of the tripod. How's that for clever? It's a really good way to protect the telescope during shipment. There's some padding in there that will absorb a lot of impacts. You probably would be very hard pressed to damage this scope. Of course, you never can tell what those delivery people can do. 
But by the same token, this is a really good way to pack a telescope. And let's open it up and see what we get. Let's first of all take this rubber band, huh? Here's some, uh, that's a tray. This is a box with some eyepieces. Show you a close up of that. Now, here we got the rubber band off. Once we take that off, we can get this out. This is just some padding. This is, of course, not original. Don put this together to mimic the original. These are the slow motion knobs. We mount the OTA on here. We're pretty much good to go. Here's how the finder goes in the storage case. This is very cute, all original. A couple of eyepieces, a seven millimeter and a 25 millimeter. There's a solar filter that you never use anymore. We don't dare use them. Very dangerous. Here's how the finder goes in. This is the star diagonal. There's even a place for the two little finder mounting screws. Isn't that cute? This is how you attach the finder. Finder is now attached. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the charming Goto Kogaku Telepack Telescope from the late 1960s. Thank you for watching.